I love the post detectors from Mediapipe. It's only take a few minutes to get them up and running. Works on different platforms, mobile, PC, embedded, and gives sufficient quality for many application. But it need to be admitted that they are not perfect. And let me tell you how they can be improved with pretty small amount of work. Uh, Almost any post detector algorithm can be improved using similar approaches. First, let's analyze the general logic. The pipeline with skeletons in media pipe look like this. It start working with initial frame, uh, then detect the area of the hand on it. Uh, when the hand is detection, we start working with a uh, hand bounding box. We find k points and uh, evaluate the estimation of whether the hand is present. If the hand is present, we correct the detection area and proceed to working with a uh, hand bounding box of the next image and if uh, the hand is not present then we go to initial detection algorithm. Also let uh, take a look on uh, the on this uh, diagram uh, where the algorithm of uh, estimation of uh, hand key point is drawn. Uh, we not only estimate all the cane point uh, on the single image, we also detect hand presence on this image. If you want to know more about the algorithm, go to my article on Medium, uh, where I explain it a little bit more. And now let's uh, talk about the problems of the algorithm and how to treat them. The problems are from... There are two types of problem in the media pipe. The first type is uh, proceed from uh, backbones because uh, media pipe is very, very fast and uh, the backbones are quite simple. Uh, they are made for the fast work. Uh, and the second type of problems is uh, from dataset. Of course, MediaPipe has a high quality data set. Uh, they are not only collected uh, a good data, good real data set, uh, I think it's uh, 30,000, but uh, also created a synthetic data set, uh, which is unlimited, of course. Uh, but uh, this data set are very domain specific. Mm. For example, uh, if uh, the hand is presented in some unusual position uh, or uh, in some unusual condition, uh, there are no such examples in the dataset. And uh, because the backbone is quite simple, it um, can't generalize uh, such uh, new image. Let me show you a few problems. Here you can see what happens if the hand is located away from the camera. This usually happens for virtual reality helmets. Here you can see what happens when the hands located near each other. Non-maximum suppression works pretty bad when the neural network is small. Here you can see what happens when the image is very bright. Same will happen on very dark images. And don't forget that uh, very big uh, hands and very small hand will not work either. So, in media pipe case, the quality improvement is the problem treatment. And uh, if uh, we want uh, to improve the quality, uh, let's uh, look at the problems that I show you. And uh, the simplest one improvement is uh, from detection problem. Uh, as you saw, uh, it's pretty often when um, the, the hand is not detected. Uh, 
It's the same for face detection in media pipe. It's the same for body detection in media pipe. Uh, the detection neural network is very weak. Uh, and uh, if you want, you can improve it by retraining on your uh, data set, uh, on your domain. And uh, it's very easy. Uh, you can label thousands of uh, images uh, per day, and it's usually enough, uh, five, six thousand, to retrain detection algorithm. And according to our experience, uh, the quality, uh, the error rate will drop from two to five times just by retraining the detectors. The uh, second one way, uh, of course, it's much harder, uh, it's to retrain the key point detector. Uh, first of all, uh, there is no good key point detector uh, training very good from the box. Uh, you can look on uh, open pause uh, key point detector or on there was a lot of key point detector, but uh, the training isn't work quite good. But um, there is a biggest problem, uh, and the biggest problem is about labeling. Uh, you can label thousands of uh, images for detection uh, in a day, but uh, you can label only a hundred of image for key point detection. Uh, because on any image you need to label, for example, for the hand it's 21 points, two hand it's uh, 42 points, and it's pretty hard to label all these points, uh, and the quality of labeling uh, usually are pretty slow, uh, are pretty low. Uh, so uh, you can uh, re retrain your key point detector, but uh, usually this task uh, will need uh, this task will take from two to four week uh, to proceed. And of course, the hardest uh, way to improve uh, the detection is to take some good models from uh, uh, papers with code or. Uh, from some specific uh, state-of-art algorithm and uh, convert this algorithm to the uh, smartphone or some different platform that you are using. But of course it's the hardest way uh, and uh, I will not recommend it if uh, your time is limited. But if you are working with video, uh, you have a temporary component. Uh, you can take a set of detection from different frames and cure them uh, with a secondary neural network. Uh, the time component can significantly improve the quality. Uh, you know, the hand can't fly arbitrarily around the frame, it's usually uh, lead some pattern, and uh, the actions uh, within the same task are usually similar. Uh, so you just need to take initial detection, uh, put them in some embedding, and restore uh, the new sequence from th from this embedding. Uh, usually, the implementation in real project take just two or three week uh, when you are using this approach. Um, but uh, I will show some sample, uh, some really easy sample uh, a bit later, uh, which I uh, wrote just in two evening. And of course, it doesn't work very good, but it can show uh, the way uh, that you can use. Uh, so, uh, let me uh, tell you a few ways how you can use the temporary component. Uh, 
the first one is to reduce uh, uh, noises. Uh, when you're detecting the hand landmarks, uh, each one uh, are pretty noisy. Uh, and of course, if hand just stand on the same location, uh, you can take other gauge uh, of them and the quality will increase. But of course, in real implementation, this is not possible. Uh, but when uh, you are using some embeddings, uh, you can train neural network uh, to decrease uh, this noise component and to restore original trajectory of the hand. Uh, to, if uh, you want simplification, here is the image. Uh, and uh, the neural network usually are very, very simple. You just need to take few fully connected layers or something like this, uh, take the uh, embedding uh, that you like, like uh, autoencoder or variational autoencoder or something like this, and uh, uh, it will work. So uh, the second way to use the time component is uh, to cure knocked out points. Uh, you know, uh, it's pretty often when uh, some points in detection are missed. Uh, sometimes it's, it's one or two points, sometimes it's just set of points. But of course, when you uh, compress uh, uh, the initial sec sequence by using autoencoder and restoring this sequence, uh, you can train this neural network to restore uh, the missed points. And uh, of course, it works somehow. Uh, and uh, the third way to improve uh, the detection uh, is by uh, using classification. Uh, it's uh, pretty strange, but uh, for some of the task, uh, you can make something like one-shot learning uh, from this uh, embedding that is created by the after encoders. And uh, by using one shot, you can uh, train neural network to uh, uh, recognize the sequences that this neural network uh, already so and uh, use this to improve the quality. For example, if you want to uh, uh, to train your system to detect some new gesture, uh, you can show it just one time uh, with pretty bad quality. Uh, but uh, when you train uh, such uh, one-shot uh, learning system, uh, the quality uh, is enough to recognize this action. So uh, here is the small example uh, to show this concept in the work. In this example, when the blue sign reconstructed lights up, it means that the algorithm compensate the missing frame. The sources for this sample I will provide in the description of this video. I hope it's helped you and uh, if you have some question, uh, just uh, leave them in comment or write me in on the email or in the LinkedIn. And uh, this video have a medium article for it and uh, if you need, just read it and uh, probably it will explain a little bit more.